These are my skull leggings. These are my pumpkin spice latte socks. And this is just Paul. <laughs> yes, I am wearing blue eyeshadow. Soak it up because we'll never see it again. In case you didn't know, I'm actually your basic white girl neighbor who loves anything pumpkin spice, wears trendy fall sweaters and even the 95 Los Angeles degrees, and starts celebrating Halloween about mm, five months early. Let's just call this audience choice category adulting. Thanks, Raphael. You do real MVP. I live on my own now. I buy all my own stuff now. And when the Halloween stuff comes out, I turn into a vampire. Hey, craft supplies and home goods deals, vampire. Back in early August, they started to sneak the Halloween stuff out. A lot of the shelves were empty. They left something to be desired. I said, wait, Jessica. Maybe don't buy the first Dia de los Muertos mug that you see. Be patient and the good decor will come. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the cheap Halloween stuff that I bought with no shame at all. This series is really just an excuse for me to shop now, isn't it? I'm just a weird little girl showing you my cat turd treasures. Everything here is much better than cat turds. So let's not waste any more time chatting as we do in YouTube videos and let's get down to the decor. So the first thing I'll show you is what's directly behind me. Doesn't this just breathe new life? death into your everyday home. This was actually the first thing I actually picked up in the store, but I only bought one of the panels. And then I went back and I bought the second one, except I didn't read on the front that it was a totally different size. So um, we might be returning that. <laughs> Look at this. They show you um, little Halloween-y things on the back so that you can be inspired. I always want to be inspired. Please inspire me. <laughs> hey, listen, it, I don't know if this is healthy, but if you want to send me pictures of fall things, Halloween things, things that you've got, things that you've just seen, you can do it via like Instagram message, I think, right? Is that how social media works? All my social media is down below. Again, I'm not sure if that's a good ask for my own mental health but I'll take them. I guess the next natural thing to show you is um, this mug with my face on it in the future. Hopefully not too near future. When I'm riding in lifts and don't wanna to talk to anybody that's in the lift, uh, I put my big headphones on and sometimes my monster hat, which only garners more conversation. Why do I do this to myself? You can also send me pictures of cats and really cute desserts on Instagram if, um, if you don't have Halloween things. I'm gonna enjoy my Instagram feed. Going along with the theme, I bought another coffee mug. Um, <laughs> there were a lot to choose from actually uh, when I didn't you know, actually buy that sugar skull right away. That was a true story. Nobody cares. But this is like a big nice ceramic mug. It kind of reminds me of the kind of mugs that my dad uses. And this can fit 16 ounces of coffee which I do now. You know, it's a little bit more subtle, a little bit like all season and not necessarily just Halloween. Um, I will use this all year round. One thing that I wanna say about this haul specifically is I tried to find things that were actually useful and not just decor because I'm living that minimal dorm room life and there's not gonna be much space to put just decor that I sit on my dresser unless I either have it around there all the time or it has some kind of use for it. Like I actually needed new coffee mugs and they're not my favorite things in the world. Continuing the theme, <laughs> I had to get a travel mug. I mean, I can't take these everywhere with me, of course. This, I mean, like when I'm shopping for a travel coffee mug, I have to make sure that I get something that closes properly. And it really does. Like this thing is really on there. And I don't have a coffee mug here like this either. It, I don't know what this is. Not microwave safe. Good to know. Dishwasher safe. I don't use the dishwasher. Here's a question um, to, the, to the crowd. How many days do you go before you like very officially wash your coffee mug? after you, you know, have used it a couple times, a couple days. 
I'm asking for a relative. It even says caution, contents hot. How do you know? I'm putting my own stuff in here. But it's it has um little cats and little skulls and it says creep it real, stay spooky, trick or treat, RIP, creep it real is probably my favorite. Happy Halloween. Like I said, I will be using these all year round, even if people in public find that strange because I would take this in public, so um, they are just gonna have to get over it. Should I show these all at once or one by one? Soaps. I actually bought this one a little while ago, but I thought I'd include it anyways because on theme. This is great because it is uh, foaming and it's beautiful. Look at those leaves in the black background and the bow. Since there's so much on the front, this is so weird. I actually placed the, the bow a little bit in the back so that the bow is shown in the mirror directly behind it. What is wrong with me? This one smells so amazing. You know what? I always talk about finding your people, which means just the people that are like you, that you surround yourself with, that, you, that make you happy, that make you productive, that make you better than you think you are. And when I was in the, the soap aisle, there was one other lady who was engaging in the exact same activity as me. We were um, carefully opening the tops to smell all of the soaps to pick which one and like very silently but decisively choosing. I almost considered starting the conversation with her like on like this one, this one's good, like tested this one, but um, I was too shy. This smells amazing and now sits um, on my sink with my fake food soaps. Pumpkin, pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin. Yeah. This one went out amongst the, you know, 50 varieties of Halloween and fall soaps because it's so gorgeous. It's this, it looks like it belongs on a wealthy grandma's sink, um, but it was only six bucks. Yeah, I'll pay that. These next items were definitely in the category of long-term uh, functionality, practicality, use. I had been looking for uh, a salt shaker specifically, I guess a set if I needed to buy one, because I have salt in my room. I eat in my room at my desk a lot. Again, not adding to my, my good health chart, but um, I do it and a lot of times I need a little bit more salt on whatever I'm eating. Um, my first Tinder date made fun of me once because I just had like a, a cylinder container of salt just amongst all of my cute makeup stuff and decorations. So I, I really then considered that to, you know, get actual salt and pepper shakers. So this was a perfect opportunity to get adorable pumpkin salt shakers. There's only one problem. Um, They don't really work. Uh, there's tons of salt in here right now, but I think that my room gets a little bit moisturized because I open my window a lot because I do things in here that I'm not supposed to be doing indoors. <laughs> wow, that's so cryptic. I like do a lot of like kind of aerosol spray stuff. So I sometimes have my window open, my fan going, and I think that lets a lot of the California uh, moisture in. So I can't really use these. I've already broken this one once, which <laughs> as soon as I picked them up, I thought, oh my God, are these fragile? Why am I buying these for myself, knowing that I'm such a klutz and um, had to glue on the stem already, assuming I was going to paint them, but now they don't even work. Do you guys do anything with uh, salt and pepper shakers that's not the normal usage for them? Oh my God, I'm gonna get so many word comments. It's weird because I don't even regret the purchase as useless as these are for me. But I kind of do get sad every time I look at them and know that I can't use them. Now, the next couple things are not for me. I actually bought these for my sister. So, Katie, you happen to be watching this right now, which I don't actually know if you watch any of my videos unless I tell you to. I've already told you probably in text message before I upload this, but I'm telling you again, do not watch this episode until you've gotten your package in the mail. Just Katie right now, go ahead and pause, 
go away from this video. You can finish it later. These guys. So, um, my mom, all of our life, has already, always, always, always been so wonderful at decorating for the holidays. I mean, sometimes we get them out a little late. But besides that, we have a lot of great decorations inside and outside. Me and my sister and maybe my brother have always enjoyed it so much. Um, and we'll probably do the same thing. Me, mostly Halloween, uh, for sure, because it's definitely my favorite holiday. Hey, if you ever need to know some Just Paul Trevia. <laughs> I think you probably already gathered. One of the kind of decorations that my mom used to collect were these. They're called Anna Lee, and they've been around since 80s or 90s. And there are, does it say? No. No. This artist, I guess, makes, has sold, and mass produces these characters, and they're usually little mice. I've seen also people before, and my sister is probably getting sick really quickly of people getting these for her since they know that she collects them. Sorry, Katie, I couldn't help myself. They're, they were too cute. I hope you don't have them. If you do already, you can always send them back to me and I'll take care of them. I'll show you the card that I bought her too um, because it's a little too cute not to show. So this guy says, don't scare me. And the inside says, you know I'll piddle. Happy Halloween. So that's it. I feel like I'm gonna find out there the other people in this world that just loves Halloween as much as I do. I just, maybe it's a nostalgia thing. Maybe it's cause I love scary things. This was my Halloween haul. I mean, if I get more stuff and, and this video does well, I will, I guess do another one because I probably couldn't stop myself anyways. But let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and then I'll forget about it. And then one day I'll come back to this video to watch it again because I do that sometimes. And I'll say, wow, that got a lot of likes. You guys haven't even seen all the whole collection of what I've been acquiring as far as curtains go and colors and backgrounds, but hey, if you stick around, you might actually see them all one day. This has been weird, but now it's time to spin that wheel! All the new peeps be like, what the fuck did she just say? On this show, in case you didn't know, I have a wheel of uh, categories that I, that I spin every week, and today is no different. Um, next week, I'm going to be in, um, a hotel at a film festival for most of the week, so I'm not sure if I'll have a video. I guess we'll see. What is that? It's acting and filmmaking. Yeah, yeah, lots of options. Um, so all those who are here for that part of my life, uh, will do something. Like I just mentioned, um, I might put, you know, a, an already filmed video out, maybe one really related to this one, because I actually have a video of my first time to Home Goods. It was a little bit of a journey, um, which all of this, I didn't even mention that. All this stuff was from Home Goods. I have a love hate relationship with this store, again, as you'll see in that video if I ever post it. When I'm looking for something really specific, like a potato masher, which shouldn't be that specific, but hey, maybe it is. Um, I can't really find it. It's kind of where all of the nice, fancy home decor goes to die. In fact, I think I bought that salt and pepper shaker, like, chipped and broken, and just didn't even either care or notice it, because I was just like, I want it. But yeah, um, the way you stick around in my life, and my friendship, and my uh, uh, community, is to subscribe, um, and that's how you know that I'm still alive. Oh, that's cryptic. It is Halloween after all. It's not. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. <laughs>